It's tea time, fools. Hit up, fools. Tea back again uh, with another video. And this one is obviously by the title about the NX not being at E3 and basically saying it's our fault. <laughs> um, I'm including myself in that as well, and you'll see why. Um, I, I take a little bit of blame, but... Anyway, uh, here we go. The video, um, like I said, is about um, it being kind of our fault, uh, mostly the gaming media, but kind of our fault for being duped. Because I, like I said, I take some blame too because I was kind of duped um, by the press coverage uh, at uh, E3 for Wii U early on. And uh, so let's get into what I mean by that. Um, as we all know, um, the... Wii U was revealed at E3 uh, 2011. Um, they didn't really, you know, uh, showcase the console uh, as much as they did the controller. And uh, so we got a uh, good look at the controller. And uh, I think because the console wasn't as prominent, there was a lot of chitter chatter about, oh, is this is this a controller an attachment for the Wii <laughs> and all that kind of stuff and uh, you know we're all in tune gamers we follow the news we know what's going on for the most part uh, we're really in in tune a lot of us you know if you're following if you're watching YouTube channels and uh, su subscribing and commenting about video games you probably know more than the average gamer uh, about what's going on so yeah uh, I mean that's that's pretty much a given. So when the Wii U was unveiled, there was all this chitter chatter and quote unquote confusion about what it was. And you had gaming media that was there, you know, there at E3 that could see it for themselves. Um, saw the games, you know, that were coming out for it showcased. And they were still trying to spin this narrative of Oh, I, I'm confused. Uh, is this a, <laughs> a add-on to my Wii, my current Wii? This is confusing, you know. Wii, Wii U, it's, it's an add-on for the Wii, right? And that is acceptable for somebody who's not paying that much attention, um, who may have heard it from somebody else and got confused. Uh, but we all um, knew that this was Nintendo's next console. You know, we've been talking about it for a couple of years at that point, or almost a couple of years. And we knew this was Nintendo introducing the new console. For one, you can just look at the games that were shown at E3 in the real and know, you know, from that, that uh, these games were, wouldn't be able to run on the Wii. So, and no controller, no controller I've ever heard of, uh, could no control I ever heard of could give more power to a console <laughs> uh, I never heard of that I don't think that that'll probably ever be a thing so you should know from that alone that you know the the uh, it wasn't an add-on to the Wii and then they gave the demo I believe the demo was 2011 right for uh, for um, the, the Zelda demo or whatever it wasn't a demo I should say it was a t well yeah it was it was a demo it was a tech demo it wasn't a demo of the game it was just a tech demo to show the power of the Wii U and obviously that isn't going to be possible on the Wii it's first of all it's high definition and second of all the graphics were not in any way shape or form capable of capable to be displayed on the Wii and so I mean the, the so-called journalists, and I'm, I'm going to have a nice video on gaming journalists coming up here soon, so stay tuned for that one. You'll enjoy it. Um, I liken myself to having some insider knowledge on that because I was pursuing a degree in journalism at one point and uh, changed my major to film. But, yeah, stay tuned for that video. It should be, should be enjoyable. Um, 
So what I'm saying is that we all know. We should have known. We all know. And it just felt like the gaming media was trying to spin and trying to confuse people by saying, we're not sure if this is an add-on to the Wii. And um, that just was, you know, part of the, the beginning of the confusion. They created confusion for the Wii U. And uh, so if the gaming media is coming out of it saying, you know, we would have liked to have seen the console. We were confused. We don't know if it's an add-on or not. If the gaming media, who has access, you know, especially behind closed doors, a lot of them had closed doors, behind closed doors access to the console and uh, the controller and the games, you know, they could do, they could, you know, quote unquote, play the Zelda demo um, and know that there's no way their Wii could run that. Um, if, you know, if they come out of E3 with that nonsense and that spreads in. Uh, magazines it spreads into websites and people start talking about it and then there's word of mouth and then so the quote-unquote hardcore in tune gamer starts spilling that into you know the stores and uh, the the casual gamer starts hearing that and thinking that oh it's just an add-on for the Wii I don't even play my Wii anymore why buy that thing so when you get all that you wonder why Nintendo puts no credence uh, in E3 anymore, uh, or the gaming media, the the Nintendo Direct was started as uh, basically Nintendo's thumbing their no, uh, thumbing their nose at the gaming media because they can't be trusted to relay simple things to the masses, to gamers, and they they consistently shown that, and so. Nintendo was is trying to control the narrative, control the information by releasing, you know, those Nintendo Directs and coming directly to you, to us. And so there's no spin when you get the information. There's no, you know, there's no garbage in the way of you getting the straight up information about what's going on. And if there's any confusion at that point, it's it's Nintendo's fault solely. There's no middleman. So um they've been slowly pulling away from e3 not just them other companies have two third parties activision ea have uh, been putting less stock in e3 and uh, they have their reasons i don't know if it's the same or not but they you know e3 is becoming becoming less important and uh the fact that nintendo is not revealing the nx at e3 and deciding to do it at basically their own event, um, you know, to me says the same thing that Nintendo Direct said, which is we want to control the narrative. We don't want any more of this confusion, you know, created or otherwise coming out of E3 about what our products are. And I totally understand that. And back in the day, Nintendo had their own show. They should have never stopped doing it. Um, but they had their own show called Space World. Um, which they put on every year, I believe it was September, and they would showcase their stuff every year. And uh, I think the GameCube was the last thing that they did um, at Space World. Uh, it was either 2001 or 2002 when they stopped. So um, that's what I mean by, and even myself, like I, I allowed the gaming media to confuse me, even though I knew what the Wii U was. I was like, well, if they're confused and they're there, um, is this an add-on to the Wii? It, and I'm like, I already knew it wasn't. I already knew that it was a, a new console, and I was confused. I I allowed them to confuse me, and not for very long, uh, maybe a couple hours or so before I got more information. But if they did it to me, they easily did it to the casual, and the person that's not as in tune to gaming news or any of that stuff. And it seemed to work. It seemed to work, and it, it uh, really was uh, uh, a hindrance to the Wii U initially when it came out. A lot of people were confused. Uh, I remember seeing people in the store trying to buy Wii U games for their Wii. <laughs> you know, and uh, you know that part was partially Nintendo's fault as well, obviously, because it's called the Wii U. And uh, if you're just some mom walking into a store and you see something that says Wii on it, Oh, this is the new Mario game for the Wii, or this is the new... No, ma'am, sorry. 
So that I mean, it was part partly their fault, um, as far as some of the retail stuff. But at the end, I'm talking about the initial reveal, the initial stuff before the console even launched. It was all this confusion created by gaming journalists who should who should have known better, who I believe did know better. Um, maybe they had hidden agendas. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. Um, it, but they were, uh, Nintendo wants to stop the confusion, and that's why they want to take something that's huge for them obviously a, a new console release and take it away from e3 this is them slapping e3 on their hand proverbial hand and saying you guys were not right to us last time so we're gonna take this away from you you can follow us over here if you want to find out what this is about so i mean that's to me that's what they should do um i'm glad they're doing it uh, again, they're controlling the narrative, just like the Nintendo Directs, and uh, I guess um, I think they should have their own show. I don't know if this will mean that they will have their own show again, but I think they should get back to doing their own show. Um, Nintendo Directs work great for them, um, and you know this would be just another, this would be a big event type of thing. This would be their own E3 uh, Nintendo Direct. So yeah, um, like I said, it's. You know, this is our fault that uh, Wii U, or excuse me, NX isn't being revealed at E3. Um, and we all assumed it would be E3. They never said it was going to be E3. They just said, we'll talk more about it in 2016. And, you know, that means they can wait till December 30th, 30, is it 31 days in December? I can't remember. December 31st? Yeah, I think so. They can wait till December 31st, 2016 before they tell us anything, and that would be accurate. So... Um, yeah, I mean, that would be, you know, so I understand why they're doing it. And like I said, I take a little bit of blame because I got confused myself. And I know if I got confused, people who aren't as in tune to video game news definitely got confused. And it's the media's fault. It's the gaming media's fault. It's Nintendo's fault as far as the confusion at retail once the console launched by naming it Wii U. But I, initially out of the gate before the console even hit stores a year before it hit anything uh there was all this quote-unquote hate and confusion created unnecessarily and uh and that's why nintendo's doing what they're doing so yeah tell me what you think Do you like the idea um i know a lot of guys were looking forward to it being at e3 i was too um just because i want to hear about the nx i want to see the games i want to see the price point and what cool new thing it is because they, they are doing a nintendo like new thing with the uh, with the uh, nx so um, i just wanted to hear that stuff as soon as i can but you know i, I can wait um like i said i i it never bothered me that they quote unquote delayed it wasn't a delay but that they that they uh decided to have the nx launch in uh, march 2017 that was never a problem for me it was only about the zelda being taken with it so yeah i mean let me know what you think in the comment below um if you <laughs> agree with my assessment here let me know um that's it for this one fools i'll see you next time peace oh yeah one more thing play nintendo fools do 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 do